Hi everyone, welcome back to Follet TV. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make a DIY diaper cream for baby's butt in your own kitchen that you can easily make and I bet you have all these ingredients in your kitchen before and we're going to be needing um, shea butter, coconut oil, um, vitamin E, glycerin, I'm going to be needing some zinc oxide castor oil, I'm going to be putting a lot of um, vitamin in it's very good compared to commercial one that you buy from store and uh, just like I said my first baby really suffered from diaper rash and this is what makes me think of how to make my own diaper rash cream for my for a baby in my own kitchen and powder. ever since I've so, started making let's get started and let's do this so let's get started what you're going to be needing for this recipe is you need one cup of shea butter We are going to all our shea butter in this um, bowl right here. So this is one cup of shea butter, a half of a cup of coconut oil. You can use any coconut oil you have. You don't have to use organic, but organic is more preferable. So we got one cup of shea one butter, spoon of beeswax. This is my beeswax. It's almost finished. So we're going to be putting one tablespoon of beeswax. One tablespoon of beeswax. Don't worry. And a tablespoon of glycerin. This is glycerin. I'm using vegetable um, glycerin. So you can use any one you have. I'm mixing one tablespoon of glycerin. I'm using one tablespoon of castor oil. Castor oil is very good for skin because it's very thick and it's very emollient, like it's, it's skin friendly. So and for now that's how we're gonna be, i mean that's what we need for now and i'm gonna put this in the microwave and let it dissolve and when it dissolves i'll be right back and tell you the next thing okay um after mixing our um shea butter and coconut oil and uh, um the glycerin and uh, um the castor oil this is how it looks like i put it in the microwave for two minutes one cup of shea butter half cup of coconut oil one tablespoon of castor oil, one tablespoon of glycerin, and then we put in the microwave for two minutes until it gets melted. Everything is now dissolved, and then you will leave it for like to cool up to 100 degree onto something that you can fill and you can put your hand in it and you won't get burned. So you don't have to have a thermometer to test. But okay. right now, so now it's cool to up to 125 degree now, but it's cool to touch. So now I'm gonna be adding, um, I'm gonna be adding my zinc oxide. Zinc is very good for your skin, even when you're going to beach or something. If you know how to DIY your own zinc cream, you can rub it on and zinc protects you. That's why you see most of the um, um, sunblock. It, I mean, it has to have some kind of zinc, maybe from 50% or 70% or 90%. So we're going to be adding our zinc powder. I got this from eBay. So this is zinc powder. I'm going to be adding one tablespoon into this mixture. So we're adding one tablespoon of zinc. If you want to add more, I would say add more if you want to. So actually I'm adding like maybe one and a half tablespoon. You don't have to use one tablespoon, I mean one and a half tablespoon. You can use one tablespoon, but that's just my own preference. Then I'm going to be adding um, a vitamin E oil. I'm going to have vitamin E oil, but not now. 
I will hide it when it's cool. I will tell you when to hide it in. So this will just will keep it to, um, to preserve the diaper cream for at least maybe three to six months without putting it in the fridge or going bad. Vitamin E is very good to preserve in your skincare or so many things that you know that you can use vitamin E for to preserve. So right now I'm gonna take a mixer. I'm gonna mix everything. Oh, take it for Africa. Hey, do it for Africa. I'm a mama, yeah. And this is how it looks like after mixing in the mixer water in the fridge and this is how it looks like as you can see it's getting thick on the side so I'm gonna be mixing again so stay tuned and let's start mixing Yeah, like maybe about one teaspoon of vitamin E. It's just a preservative, so you don't need that much of vitamin E, just a preservative. Our container and I'm gonna be dumping into the container I'm gonna be coming back to show you the finished look so stay tuned and let's wait and this how it looks like and um like this how it looks like and let me rub it on my skin it's easy to wipe when, you, when you're ready to wipe off when baby pee or poop see that 